my recording begins okay so we will start is my voice okay now yes right now it's okay marcus okay so I hope now you can see my screen. Uh, ma'am, so the answer for uh, it is still presenting, ma'am. Okay. Yes. Who, what so you ma'am? Ma the answer. Yeah, yeah. The answer yeah, for see. that was uh, pituitary gland is the master gland controlling the endocrine system. Is that the answer, ma'am? Yes, it controls all other endocrine glands. Thank you. And uh, pituitary gland. Your voice is breaking, ma'am. What? Is it okay now? Yeah, now we can see the Hello. screen. Can hear you. Okay. So, uh, pituitary gland is controlled by whom? Hypothalamus. Hypothalamus. Yes, very good. So, yesterday, till where we have covered? Thyroid gland. Ma'am, the last one was so, calcitonin hormone. Uh, that is a yes, hormone calcitonin. secreted by thyroid. Yes, hormone secreted by thyroid it is calcitonin hormone. And these two, T3 and T4. Okay, so how many hormone thyroid gland is producing? Three. Yes, very oh, good. Okay. Is it three, ma'am? Yes, T3, T4, and calcitonin. Okay. Yes. And next gland is parathyroid glands. Now, here in this picture, you can see where parathyroid glands are located. At just back of thyroid gland, parathyroid glands are located. There are four small parathyroid glands. They are four in number, two in each side, left and right. The two pairs, pairs of parathyroid glands are located on the back side of thyroid gland. And what hormone they secrete? Parathormone hormone. Okay. Parathormone hormone is secreted by parathyroid glands. And what are the functions of parathormone hormone? Secretion is regulated by blood calcium level. Release PTH is stimulated, release of PTH is stimulated by decreased blood calcium level. Okay, so what happens when calcium level in the bloodstream is lower? At that time, parathyroid hormone gets stimulated by uh, pituitary and they produce this parathormone hormone to increase the blood calcium level okay so what does this parathormone hormone do they increase the calcium level in blood this is achieved by increasing the calcium absorption from the small intestine and reabsorption from the renal tubules so how the hormone works it increases the calcium absorption from small intestine and reabsorption from renal tubules. Is it clear the concept of parathyroid and its hormone? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Next is thymus gland. 
So thymus gland is a flattened small structure lying between sternum and top of heart. Okay. Now here in this picture, I hope you can see clearly this picture where the thymus gland is located. Here uh, and uh, uh, the separately thymus gland is also shown separately in this picture. It is having two lobes right and left. So it is lying between sternum and top of the heart in the thoracic cavity. Okay. So the thymus gland has soft two lobes. It's part of lymphatic system. Okay. The thymus gland is part of lymphatic system. Now, thymosine is the hormone produced by thymus gland. Okay, so what is the hormone produced by thymus gland? Thymosine. All the hormones almost are uh, named uh, from their producing glands only. Almost. So, uh, what does this thymosine hormone do? Necessary for normal production of T cells in immune system. If you know what are the T cells and B cells, then it's okay. Otherwise, I must tell you these are the immune cells. Uh, T cells and B cells are the type of cells of our immune system. These hormones uh, promote proliferation and maturation of T cells. Okay. So T cells are white blood cells which destroy microbes and foreign substances. Okay. Means T cells are uh, white blood cells. And uh, these thymosin hormone promote the proliferation and maturation of T cells. That is how thymus gland is contributing its role on lymphatic system. Next is pancreas. So pan, we have already studied about it. We'll know some more. It is a leaf, a leaf shaped organ about 12 to 15 semi long, located left epigastric region and uh, behind the stomach yes pancreas is a mixed gland with both endocrine and exocrine cells okay so pancreas having both type of cells so it is called mixed gland endocrine cells are called islets of langerhans contain alpha beta and delta cells produce hormones okay so uh, endocrine cells in pancreas are named as alpha beta and delta cells and they produce hormone so what are the hormones produced by pancreas they are at first glucagon hormone produced by alpha cells and what does this glucagon do glucagon is released when blood glucose levels are low converts stored glycogen into glucose so what does this glucagon do they convert the stored stored glycogen which is stored in which organ of the body we have already discussed please reply yes ma'am can you repeat means glucagon where does he stored Glucagon is a hormone which converts stored glycogen into glucose. So we have already discussed where glycogen is stored. So answer me where glycogen is stored. I have told so many times. Liver. Yes, very good. So uh, extra amount of uh, glucose which is not needed instantly is stored in glycogen, uh, stored in liver in the form of glycogen. 
okay so when our body needs that glycogen at that time glucagon breaks that glycogen into glucose for our body's use okay and uh, when this situation can come when our blood sugar level is low at that time we need more glucose so at that time glucagon is converted into glucose when our blood sugar level is low and this conversion is done by glucagon hormone next is beta cells beta cells produce insulin hormone okay beta cells of pancreas produce insulin hormone insulin is released when blood glucose level are high so that they can be used by body cells okay so insulin is uh, released when blood glucose level is high insulin is uh, Yes, insulin is released in blood, blood glucose level are high. Store excess glucose as glycogen form. What is the significance of this line here? I don't know. Don't go for the, this line. Uh, actually, uh, beta cells of pancreas produce insulin hormone. And insulin hormone is released when blood glucose level is high. Next is somatostatin hormone. Somatostatin hormone are produced by delta cells. They secrete uh, somatostatin to inhibit growth hormone release from pituitary gland. Okay. Now this one hormone, somatostatin, it is in some extent commanding pituitary gland to not produce. Now this is an inhibitory hormone right it is inhibiting pituitary gland that please do not produce growth hormone anymore okay so delta cells of pancreas produce somatostatin hormone which inhibits the growth hormone release from pituitary gland now, inhibits the secretion of both insulin and glucagon hormones this somatostatin hormone inhibits the both secretion of insulin and glucagon when it is needed. So basically somatostatin is an inhibitory hormone. Next so is when this uh, growth hormones uh, are stopped by this, is it in uh, once we are adult? Yes. It, okay. it depends upon that uh, growth hormone for which purpose or for which reason should be stopped okay yes next is adrenal gland the paired triangular shaped adrenal or uh, suprarenal supra means above or at the upper portion renal means kidney so at the ab on the top of kidney these two triangular shaped glands are located those are known as adrenal glands the adrenal glands are composed of outer adrenal cortex and inner adrenal medulla here in this picture you can see this cortex and medulla the outer layer is cortex and the inner layer is medulla and the hormones of adrenal gland are what hormones of cortex uh, what are the hormones adrenal cortex is secreting are mineralocorticoids glucocorticoids gonadocorticoids these three hormones are secreted by adrenal cortex now adrenal medulla epinephrine and norepinephrine this epinephrine is also known as adrenaline. Norepinephrine is also known as noradrenaline. Now, adrenal cortex. Adrenal cortex produces three groups of hormones which are collectively known as corticosteroids. Okay. Now, these three hormones which are produced by adrenal cortex are collectively known as 
corticosteroids so basically these hormones are steroid hormones okay and they are produced by adrenal cortex that is why they are known as corticosteroids so what are those mineralocorticoids glucocorticoids and gonadocorticoids these steroid hormones are collectively known as corticosteroids and another two hormones produced by adrenal medulla are epinephrine or adrenaline and norepinephrine or noradrenaline now each hormone in detail mineralocorticoid produced by cortex so aldosterone is the main mineralocorticoid hormone it is involved in maintaining water and electrolyte balance aldosterone balance sodium and potassium in blood so among mineralocorticoids aldosterone is the main so aldosterone what does this aldosterone do it it balances the water and electrolyte balance in the body electrolyte means these uh, elements like sodium potassium these minerals next is glucocorticoids cortisol is the main glucocorticoid but small amount of cortisone and corticosterone are also produced okay so mainly cortisol is the main glucocorticoid hormone and uh, it regulates carbohydrate protein fat metabolism act as anti inflammatory and anti allergic actions okay and helps the body to cope during time of stress so when we are stressed at that time cortisol is released by our adrenal cortex so understand this mechanism this is an important mechanism you need to understand and when we are stressed for managing or coping up with stress adrenal releases cortisol and uh, next is gonadocorticoids so from its name you can understand when gonad uh, come it is related to our reproductive system so gonadocorticoids are the sex hormones secreted by adrenal cortex are uh, mainly androgens male sex hormones although the amount produced are significant compared with those secreted by gonads in puberty so basically androgen is a male sex hormone and this is a main gonadocorticoid hormone so responsible for development of secondary sexual characteristics in men so what does this uh, gonadocorticoids do mainly secondary sexual characteristics like uh, beard coming uh, coming of beard so this is the secondary signs of puberty right so these secondary sexual characteristics are developed by gonadocorticoid hormone androgen all the gonadocorticoid hormone sorry androgen is the uh, main hormone of gonadocorticoids and this is the male sex hormone next is so all the three uh, hormones three types of hormones we have covered from cortex right mineralocorticoid glucocorticoid and gonadocorticoid next is medulla now medulla is completely surrounded by adrenal cortex we all know that the inside portion is medulla and outside layer is cortex so it it will be always surrounded by cortex so epinephrine is the hormone uh, epinephrine is also known as adrenaline produced by medulla known as stress or emergency hormone when when we are stress at that time adrenaline or epinephrine is released and for coping up with stress what is released
Yes. Adrenaline. Yes. I'm adrenaline. Adrenaline is released when we are stressed, but when for to means uh, for coping up with stress, what is released? Let let's take an example. Uh, for example, you have heard that your exam will be tomorrow. So at that time, adrenaline will be released. That you will you will take stress and you will go to read. But you that much that you suffer from your work. Okay, so for uh, coping up with stress or for managing your stress, which hormone is ma'am? Your voice is breaking. Oh, God, now it is okay. Um, yes. So what I was asking, let's take an example. Uh, let uh, suppose that you have uh, oh, oh, oh. battery. So sorry, just a minute. Yes, my voice is clear now. Yes, ma'am. So what I was asking, suppose that you heard that your exam will be from tomorrow. So you stressed. So at that time, adrenaline is feeling that you will take stress. But Ma'am, ma'am, your voice is all breaking, ma'am. Ma'am, can you speak now? No, it's gone again, ma'am. It's gone. Okay, now. Hello. Uh, can you speak, ma'am? Since you are saying that there is an exam tomorrow, till there we are hearing after that voice is breaking. Ma'am has exited completely. Yeah. Is it okay now? Yeah, we can hear now. Okay. So what I was uh, telling that the exam will be from tomorrow. So you will take stress and you will go and read. But should not be that much that your exam will suffer. So for managing stress, common it. I'm thinking from the recent uh, recent uh, previous slide, cortisol, ma'am, to manage stress. Yes, very good. So for managing stress, we have just read in the previous slide, managing stress, cortisol is used. And during the stress, adrenaline is used. So when you heard that your exam will be from tomorrow, at that time, adrenaline is used, uh, released. And 
you will go and read but for managing that stress cortisol is released otherwise you will not any work okay so the adrenaline is no stress hormone or emergency hormone it elevates blood pressure increases heart rate cardiac output spits release of glucose from liver in it dilates the pupils to see more clearly so of okay you can understand that these are the signs of stress you feel all these things whenever you feel stress during span till now every time we get stress this and this is the of sympathetic nervous activation we will learn this thing in uh, nervous system to sympathetic and parasympathetic sympathetic nervous activation is when we are getting stressed at that time these signs and sim- these symptoms occur in our body if you get stressed any time uh, this class you can these changes within you, you you must observe the changes within you you will find this it increases heart rate and cardiac output and speed release of glucose feel feeding of you can feel the heart rate you can feel the breathing rate okay and the people the it is often to some stress reaction okay means it is always used that it is always means a um, small stress good for our body it means if you do not take stress for your exam you will not read and that's not good you should read for your exam so this much of stress is good for our body mind and health so that is known as u stress and that the stress which is not good for us that is known as distress okay so next day norepinephrine hormone so norepinephrine hormone is also known as noradrenaline no uh, noradrenaline like um it's norepinephrine is noradrenaline so norepinephrine like epinephrine is released when body is under stress it creates the underlying influence in the fight or flight response actually triggers a drop in heart rate blood pressure cardiac output so almost this is also doing the same it actually influence fight or flight reaction no fight and flight react fight or flight reaction sympathetic parasympathetic ma'am yes you can say so when sympathetic nervous system is getting activated means uh, situations like a snake in front of you either either you will fight with the snake with a stick or with with any uh, anything you have as a hathiyar as a weapon to fight with the snake or you will flight away from the space okay so this is this situation is known as either you will fight or you will flight away no other option is available in that moment so that uh, situation is known as fight and flight um, situation and every every situation like this uh um, activating so 
this norepinephrine hormone triggers or influence fight or, fight or flight response means you should eat or you should flight that is decided by this norepinephrine hormone is gonads so gonads are the ovaries and testes in male and female a pair of ovaries and pair of testes are present uh, testes are present in male ovaries are present in female and these are the primary sex organs so i am a gonad so ovaries are uh, two sex organs located in the pelvic cavity one on each side of uterus they are 2.5 to 3.5 semi long ovaries have two functions they produce eggs they produce a female sex hormone called estrogen and progesterone so this is uh, inside uh, in inside picture story yes so what we do they produce eggs you can see how they use in this picture and ovaries produce two hormones estrogen and progesterone this at female sex hormones it is responsible for developing the reproductive system development and maintenance of sexual characteristics regulation of menstrual cycle so obviously menstrual cycle will be regulated the egg is being produced by ovary and it uh, it get matured in ovary and it comes to uh, uterus to fallopity we will get to know all these uh, systems means all these things in reproductive system and if you know earlier then it's well and good otherwise we will get and what does testis the pair of uh, uh, gonad in me organ is located outside the body and female sex organ is located inside the body that is the cavity uh, so testes are located outside the body in front of the region near upper thigh so can you answer me why male sex organ is located outside the body any idea i no. heard something like heat um, balancing the heat or something yes very good so a generation of human sperm needs a lower temperature than body temperature so in more temperature they they may destroy so they are generated only when they they are having a low temperature than body so that is why they are located outside the body so uh, they are about 4 to 5 semi long testes have two functions they produce sperm they produce the male sex hormone called testosterone what would female sex hormone produced by ovaries estrogen and progesterone very good estrogen and progesterone and here this is testosterone is male it is responsible for the development and maintenance of reproductive system development and maintenance of male sexual characteristics female female okay
is li so what is right everything is clear regarding on that yes ma'am your your voice was breaking in between but we managed to understand tell me at what time the voice is breaking otherwise we broke in youtube a recorded session so uh, what i'm going next uh, male and female uh, rep reproductive system ma'am not reproductive system system is not only one organ Gunnar, do we say they are primary system? Yes. So how do we exactly answer, ma'am? Yes, gonads are primary sex organs. There are other sex organs too, which is making the reproductive system. Okay. Like in females, okay, other sex organs are uterus, placenta. Okay, so there are other organs too, which is making the reproductive system. The primary organ in female is ovary, and male testes. So, ma'am, the primary organ. Ma'am, your voice is breaking. I could not hear. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, you can stop sharing. Then you can talk. If I think a no network issue will be there. Okay. Is it okay? Okay, ma'am. Let's see. <laughs> Till you are not happy. <laughs> Okay. No, ma'am. When you are asking, is it okay? That time it's going okay, but when you are talking too long, then again, voice was breaking. Exactly, ma'am. When you say, is it okay? It is okay, ma'am. Yes, yes. Uh, what can I do if I no other option left for me? Okay, let's try. So what I was asking that uh, gonads, gonads are primary sex organs. Those are ovaries in female and testes in male. Okay. And okay, so let's turn off the class. Uh, so should we continue the class? This is a... only one minute. I have means you said gonad is. Sex organs we can consider. Yes, obviously, gonads are primary sex organs. Okay. Primary Not all sex. the sex organs are good. Okay. Like, uh, like female reproductive system is also consisting other sex organs. Those are known as secondary sex organs, like. Ovary, fallopian tube, all these are secondary sex organs. But the primary sex organ is ovary. That's why. Okay. Yes. So, so you can in case of male. Yes. Uh, I am saying just means we can say gonad is controlling. <clears throat> you can say uh, gonad is controlling or maintaining reproductive system. No, is it wrong? No, it's not totally wrong. You can say that uh, um, mainly, means you can say this is a leader team. If there is a team, 
ಸೊ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಸೆಕ್ಸ್ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಇದೆ ವಿತೌಟ್ ದಮ್ ದ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ರನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ದ ಮೇನ್ ಲೀಡರ್ ಓಕೆ ಟೆಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಸ್ಪರ್ಮ್ ಓವರ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಎಗ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ರೀಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇನ್ ಮೇಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೀಮೇಲ್ okay ma'am okay ma'am yes. so any more question regarding today's class so this is done ma'am endocrine no 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 it's not done. okay these all the all the organs are covered all the organs which are controlled by pituitary system is covered only uh, only few sides left that your voice is breaking so, terribly ma'am today so better we stop ma'am okay so let's wind up the class with prayer sit comfortably close your eyes add up namaskar mudra from the fifth right your spine and repeat ಭದ್ರಿ ಪಶ್ಯ ಮಾಕಷ್ಟುಖಾವೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 photos from the fish muscles and thank you thank you ma'am ma'am has left ma'am has left